Good morning, YouTube. I, uh, I'm here in the beautiful Lake Tahoe, and I feel like I might have made a pretty bad decision because I'm here for a triathlon of all things, and the water is about 50 degrees. It's about 50 degrees outside right now, and uh, it's gonna be a cold one, and that's something that I don't really like, but I'll probably survive. I'll just be miserable. So, uh, I guess we'll just see what happens. Just finished with the race. Ended up uh, eighth place overall and second place in my age group and uh, had a really good time. The course was, well, the swim was really cold. The bike was fairly muddy. As you can see, got a little bit of mud on, on my bike. Also very rocky too. There was a couple times I was getting a little sketched out with all the, uh, the rocks and the high speeds but still had fun. And the run was one and a half miles up the mountain, then one and a half miles down. So that first mile and a half was very tough and not very fun. And uh, that's about it, I guess. Just sitting around, about to load up the, my stuff and uh, wait for the awards. Just got my award. Full of glass, X Terra Tahoe City second place so heading out of Tahoe City right now but I just realized that I actually forgot my street shoes in transition so driving back to transition now to see if my shoes are still there hopefully they are got my shoes on my feet and I am back at Truckee Bike Park which you guys might remember, uh, I did a cyclocross race out here uh, probably three weeks ago, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know, fairly recently. And uh, gonna go do a couple of these dirt jumps since there's not a lot of people here and I can actually do them now. No guys, I didn't film anything. Uh, probably because it's really hard to film that kind of stuff by yourself and if I use the chesty, it's gonna look the exact same as it did a couple weeks ago, so I opted out of that. Also came to a very real realization while I was riding, and that is that I am very tired, which I guess is uh, kind of understandable since I just did that big race this morning. So I'm gonna start rolling out to somewhere, and I'll let y'all know when I get there. So I decided to stop in Livingston at the TA truck stop. 
I did not take a shower last night because I didn't really feel like it. I honestly just got kind of bored in, uh, in Lake Tahoe, so I decided to drive most of the way back to Bakersfield, and I'll be doing some stuff in Bakersfield today. There is some mountain bike trails near here that I'm gonna go ride first, so go ride those mountain bike trails and, uh, and go do some other activities. Well folks, I am back at the van after yet again cutting another ride short. This time it was mechanical problems, uh, that fairly large drop that I did. You might have seen my picture on Instagram. And uh, yeah, after I did that, I noticed that my fork did not come back out. So even the whole way down the ride, it still never came out. Don't know what's wrong with it, but there's something definitely wrong and yeah the trail was supposed to get a whole lot more intense than uh what i was doing so i decided you know what i'll just come back whenever i have a properly functioning bike so that's why i decided to cut a little bit short and also i do still have some other things i can do today in shafter so i'm going to start making my way back to the big shaft and uh doing those things. So I made it back to uh, the house and I'm underneath the van right now because one of the projects I was gonna do is try and hook up a, a little bit better shower for the van. And so I got this uh, weed sprayer tank to try and mount it right here and figure out a way to do that. And I'll need a bunch more parts to run some water hose and everything, so uh, that's what I'm going to do is go to Lowe's and pick up some pieces to mount this thing and see if we can make it work. Well, I got all the equipment from Lowe's, got a bunch of fittings and all kinds of things. There's the tank, and uh, I'm here at Bryce Penny's house so he can try and figure out a way to help me uh, cut a hole in this floor. We live in Bryce's house now. He recommended using a hole saw to cut out a hole, which I don't have, so, and I don't have a hole saw, so uh, now I'm headed off to the Home Depot to buy a hole saw so I can cut out a gigantic hole in the floor. Got the hole saw, got it hooked up to the drill. It's a uh, five incher, pretty big hole saw. Got the spot pre-drilled from the bottom. So, uh, time to drill this puppy. All right, well, the sun is setting. My hands are extra dirty. Got the tank in. Uh, it's a little off-centered, but it's good enough, I think. That took a very long time. Luckily, Birdie came by to give me a helping hand. And uh, that's gonna be it for today, because I'm just gonna pick up this trash, take a shower, go to bed. So, still don't know what I'm gonna do next weekend. Why don't you leave me a comment on uh, what you think I should do next weekend, and I might be able to do it. So, 
I'll put a little poll up in the this corner of the screen. So go ahead and click on that poll and uh, also leave a comment on what I should do. And see you next weekend.